Tracy is putting out decorative bowls of potpourri in each room of the hotel where she works. She wants to fill each bowl with one-fifth of a can of potpourri. If Tracy has four cans of potpourri, in how many rooms can she place a bowl of potpourri? So she has four cans, and she wants to divide these four cans into groups of a fifth of a can. So if you have four of something and you're trying to divide it into groups of a certain amount, you would divide by that amount per group. So you want to divide, you want to divide four by one fifth. You want to divide four cans of potpourri into groups of one fifth. So let's visualize this. So let me draw, let me draw one can of potpourri right over here. So one can of potpourri can clearly be cut up into five fifths. We have it right over here. One, two, three, four, five. So one can, one can of potpourri can fill five bowls if you put a fifth in each bowl. Now we have four cans. We have four cans. So let me paste these. So two, three, and four. So how many total bowls of potpourri can, can Tracy fill? Well, she's got four cans. So this is going to be equal to, let me do this in the right color, this is going to be equal to, once again, she has four cans. And then for each of those cans, she can fill five bowls of potpourri because each bowl only requires a fifth of those cans. So this is going to be the same thing as four times, four times five, or we can even write this as four times five over one. Five is the same thing as five over one, which is the same thing as four times five. 4 times 5 which of course is equal to which is equal to 20 she can fill 20 cans or i should say she with her four cans she can fill 20 bowls of potpourri now just as a review here we already see we've already seen that dividing by a number is equal to multiplying by its reciprocal. And we see that right over here. Dividing by 1 fifth is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 fifth, which is 5 over 1. So we got she can fill up 20 bowls of potpourri.